Excuse me, sir. Your legs are missing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some Conan Exiles, and I was getting ready for stream, right? Just getting ready for stream. No big deal. And uh, I heard something terrifying. Like, it's like a, uh, oh yeah, that's what I was worried about. It was like some kind of horn, right? And then I looked in my inventory, and I noticed that this purge meter is at the very first purge line. This is like the only base on the map so I can imagine that if the purge is about to happen, it's about to happen to me, and I hope not. Because, let me tell you, just in case it's not about to happen, because I'm hiding in here like a little girl. In case it's not going to happen, what I had planned was um, showing you guys the new base that we made on stream. Is there anything scary out there? Showing you guys the new base that we made on stream. I got to level up a little bit because a lot of things that I'm wanting to build um, take steel tools, which I'm not able to learn just yet. And then uh, I was gonna set out and about and do some wonderfulness, but uh, but then I heard that scary horn. What's with that scary horn, man? I'm not a fan. Guys, if you end up enjoying, if you end up enjoying this episode, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Maybe that was just a warning horn. Like, hey, man, like you better get your stuff together, cause if not, we're coming for you. But it just it freaked me out. Cause what is this first line? Like, does purge start here? Or can it start any time? God. That's absolutely terrifying. Okay, well, let me just give you guys a... <laughs> let me just give you guys a tour real quick, okay? So, if you didn't catch the stream, there's definitely been some major changes. And you need to make sure to swing over to uh, twitch.tv slash 2cobras. So that if we do stream Conan Exiles, you don't get left behind. You definitely want to check that out. So, we were streaming with T-Bunny. T-Bunny really built the majority of this stuff. <laughs> Believe it or not. But uh, here's what we got. We've got us a base in a, in a tree right now. Let me show you. Anything scary? That freaked me out a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a whole lot. So we got us a base right now in a tree. Right up here. Right? And then uh, we built this bridge across because we did take a thrall. And uh, funny thing is you can't drag. So what you do with thralls is you knock them out and you got to drag them back to your base. Right? And then you put them over here on this wheel of pain. But we couldn't drag them across the water. The water was too leap, so deep, so we had to uh, we had to build a bridge so that we could drag them across the water. Here's all our crafting stations, which will inevitably be destroyed if the purge does decide that it's gonna, you know, come after us anytime soon. Uh, and I keep mentioning the purge. The purge, if you don't know, is when a bunch of character. Oh God! I keep Every little thing is making me jumpy. Bunch of NPCs, whether it's animals, whether it's people, come and attack your base. So I think probably what's going on right now when I heard that horn. Is they're gathering so <laughs> sometime in here oh boy it's gonna be a whole thing but let's go ahead and take this thrall out of the wheel of pain and see if maybe we can use it to help protect us just in case that does happen now how do I uh, do I just drop you what do I do do I use you do I thrall <laughs> I think I think there's something wrong with our thrall it's in a tiny little sack how do I what do I do with you let me just put you on my hotbar. Maybe I use you like this. Ah, there's my dude. There's my dude. He's nothing impressive. He's uh, he's a mullet. <laughs> he's a mullet level one. Looks like he's a no-faced Hyborian exile. So, uh, can you like actually equip stuff on these guys now? I'm wondering if that's a thing. Oh, it does look like I accessed his inventory. That makes me kind of happy. So I can give you like, if I wanted to give you. Say this stone pike, which I actually really love. Look at that! What did you just do with it, bro? Why is it up here? Did you already have a sword? It looks like maybe you already have a sword. Maybe I'm gonna take my stone pack pike back. You can't be greedy, man. I'll, I'll make you some better armor if I figure out how. So let me show you, okay? What I? What was that noise? Sweet Jesus. <laughs> okay, so in here, this is actually. Oh, I was wanting to make one of those. There's one already in here. This is a uh, altar, a pit of Yogg, and it's uh, actually not my religion. I think it's the one that Wombat has. But I know that somehow he's able to turn, I guess, human flesh into meat that does not spoil, uh, which would be really, really nice. I don't have that ability, but if you're wondering what that is, that's what that is. We've got a blacksmith bench right here. 
where we'll be able to craft some of our higher level tools and weapons. I heard footsteps. <laughs> We've got over here. This is called. Oh boy, this is called like what's it called? The pleasure, pleasure place of dir directo. And there's chains, and there's animal hide, and I feel icky just standing on it. Right over here, we've got ourselves a tanner. This is where you make leather out of hide. We've got a grinder, which I have no clue really what that does. It says um, bones plus something, I guess, equals plus time equals uh, bone meal. We've got a carpe carpenter's bench. We've got ourselves a campfire, which still has a ton of food in it. Thank goodness. We've got a planner. And then this is just a multi-level base. So again, I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit because last time you saw us, we were in a complete... I'd suck at these stairs. Which aren't stairs, which are tree limbs. <laughs> we were in a completely different place, so... This uh, has a bunch of chests in it. We've got ourselves an armor's bench, which I really kind of want to check out real quick. Tons of stuff in there. It looks like we may have the possibility of making an artisan work table, which is for, like, decorative stuff. And then a whole bunch of storage chests and that kind of stuff, so... Anyways, that's that's getting you guys caught back up. What I want to do real quick, I don't have any feet. Well, I have feet. I don't have anything to put on my feet, and I don't have uh, hands. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna style. I don't have these. I don't have these armor slots. I do have the things that they go on. So if I go into this armorer's bench, I think there might be some some better stuff that I can make. So you'll notice like this has, uh, for instance, heavy chest padding, heavy helmet padding. You can use those in recipes to make other things. So let's see, like, this kind of stuff I can't even get. I don't even know where you get fur. I don't think we have fur. I think all we can get is hide at this point. So in my inventory, I guess this is for pre-ordering, if I remember remember right, these armor sets. Uh, so I can make some of this stuff. Like, there's royal gauntlets, royal greaves, royal tacits. I don't even know what a tacit is. But let's see which one of these. This takes leather and iron iron bars and medium boot linings. So let's see if I can make medium boot linings in here real quick. Medium boot. Medium boots. Medium boot lining. I'm going to go ahead and craft that. Let's see how this works. Boom. All right. We got our medium boot lining right there. Now if I go back into my inventory. Let's find this again. Oh, tech helmet. I got two feet. Boom. There's the second one. Okay. Now I know it said I need uh, iron bars, I think, which, ooh, thank goodness I got some in here. Can I take one at a time? I don't even know how this works. No, apparently. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there is a way. I just don't know how to do it. We'll just take the whole thing. Sure, why not? Now I should be able to. What am I short? I know there's got to be something else. I'm short. Leather. Leather. That's hide. Here's <laughs> Just take the whole thing because I don't know what I'm doing. Back to them. Ba-boom. So what does it say about these? I can totally craft some, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and craft them up. So just got a message <laughs> that said survive a purge. Okay, and it said a group of gray apes has been defeated. What in the world was happening? The purge must not have... So when I said earlier that uh, mine was the only base here, I'm guessing that uh, Wombat wandered off and built <laughs> something himself that's maybe a lot larger than what we have. And it must have been at his place. So Wombat, <laughs> I don't know where your place is, but wherever it is, there's a possibility some of it has been destroyed. And maybe you have a thrall or something that killed it. I don't know. But um, we survived the purge, guys. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. We did real good. Also, I got a little carried away. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can turn around this way and it'll be a little better. Got a little carried away and made all of the armor pieces for that, which is awesome. I mean, that's what we needed. And I can go ahead and give the thrall. Oh, God, if I can get down here. Okay, I'm going to fall. Guaranteed. I go ahead and give the thrall my old stuff. And then we need to level up a little bit, go around and be some things so that, uh, well, he's probably got just as good stuff on him as I had on me. Yeah, only in better condition. Okay, well, fine. I didn't want to share with you anyways. I'm getting chased by about the scariest flamingo you'll ever see in the entire history of your life. I'm, I want to see if uh, our thrall will help us out a little bit. Okay. Flamingo de -aggroed. Come here, bro. How do I make you follow me? Um. Oh, here we go. Commands or something. Move. Follow. Okay. You want aggressive or something? Bro, you don't want to charge up those scary flamingos with just your fists. I guarantee it. You probably want to equip a weapon. Okay, we're in it. We're in it. 
die! Uh, uh help it would be great. Thank you. Oh! This sword is pretty beastly. I don't know if this is the best thing I have. Maybe switch into this mace. I got this mace off of uh somebody, some fighter when we were out trying to get thralls. I don't know which is best. Actually, I can probably use this, a shield with this, which would be fantastic. This is <laughs> this is the epitome of of scariness. Fighting <laughs> giant flamingos. Don't pretend that you're not impressed. We killed the pink one, which of course is the scariest of all flamingos. Okay. Woo. Whoo! What can we loot? Anything? <laughs> I almost died to flamingos, which doesn't speak well to my chances. Uh, what do I want to harvest this with? That's the question. I do have a hatchet. What do I want to replace it? Let's let's do that. So also, I know that we can make healing potions. Actually, I have bandages. Let me see if I can use this real quick. Can I use a bandage while in combat? Didn't think it was in combat, but that's cool. I know that you can make potions out of aloe and whatnot so that you can heal yourself. Only I don't, uh, I don't know where there's any aloe around here. We'll definitely have to venture out and see if we can find some of that too. Also that, dude, this guy following behind me is going to scare the crap out of me all the time. I think I just needed to put my sword up maybe. See if I can use that now. Use. There we go. That's a little betterist. I'm so close to level 32 and that's what I need to be able to make these steel tools. All right, I'm feeling better. Now, if I remember right, let me have this guy. Make sure he follows me across this bridge and over that away. There should be actually. Are there emotes? How do I? How do I, I got to figure out an email like right now. Here we go. R, point, surrender, shake fist, greet, cancel, relax. Okay, right <laughs> there, over that away. There should be some people that we can fight, and hopefully that'll get me to level 30. Bro, can I heal this guy too? That's a legitimate... Oh, he's already healed up. Maybe he heals quicker than I do. Come on, man. Oh, God, what's that sound? Oh, it's a crocodile. Okay. Woo! Something scared the crap out of me. Ah. These things can be pretty beastly. Also, I think I can... How do I... There's a way to, like, roll it. There we go. Normally, I can time that pretty good. There we go. That way I don't get hit as much. <laughs> I had to remember what the freaking thing was. And I will take your hide, sir or ma'am. Where are you going? Come back over this way, man. I need to give you a name. Can I, I wish I could change your name. How do I change your name? Stop following. Move. Open inventory. You need a name. Can't give you a name. We're going to call you Stanley. You're Stanley. I don't want to just call you... Hyborian fighter or whatever. What is that thing? Like some kind of rhino. I, I imagine I probably don't want to mess with that too much. There they are. There's the enemy. Look at that. That must be Wombat's place. One second. I wish I still had my pike equipped because the pike, like, you can pretty much beast these guys. Oh! Any kind of help anytime soon would very much be appreciated, Stanley. Pretty sure Stanley is a Conan. Oh no, did I just take my own? Stanley? Stanley! You, you animal. I'm gonna blame this on this guy. You and your stupid loincloth. You've taken off Stanley's head. Stanley! Stanley! Maybe I need to make sure like friendly fires off or something or like does <laughs> a totally totally beast is Stanley And I had just given him the best name possible <laughs> Stanley I'll take your sword man You'll go on in our memories <laughs> Dang it I can't believe that Okay now I gotta investigate a little further because yeah that looks like maybe that's Wombat's place down there he wasn't far, so maybe I need to set up my own little shop around here. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to have a streaming base and like a separate base, but I don't know. That other base is kind of already in the works, so. Anybody over here? Was it? Oh, God, where did you come from, dude? You're a cook. It might be kind of nice to. Mm. Can I? Oh, I don't have any bindings. 
Maybe I can still knock you out. One second. <laughs> Ring around the rosy a little bit. I got to switch to my truncheon. Give me a second, bro. Uh, Three. Woo. All right. If you want to do this, we can do this, sir. Ah. Oh, I'm such a... Oh! Oh, my God. He's got one of those uh, clubs that I got, or whatever it's called. Okay. There we go. Knocked him smooth on out. You'll be my new Stanley. <laughs> How do I make, uh, how do I make this? This is what I need. Fiber bindings. We'll go ahead and put that like in this slot. Stanley 2.0 coming up. It wouldn't, it's probably not a bad thing to have a cook anyways. <laughs> All right, Stanley 2.0. Can I bring you across the water? Since it's kind of shallow. it! This is not how you make friends, guys. <laughs> this is simply because I need a cook. Okay. Not how you make friends in real life. Don't go around clubbing people and dragging them, <laughs> dragging them with bindings, thinking that that they're gonna come back and, and be your friend. Because that's not how it works in life. What is this? Oh, it automatically put them in there. Nice. So I think that I want to say that we have this boosted a little bit. Where is uh? Oh, we just need to turn it on. Here we go. Now, normally this process takes a long time, and I think it's still going to take quite a while. You can see, like, there's one little sliver of a white line right there. Oh, I'm level 32. Okay, now I can make my steel tools and stuff, which is what I really, really wanted to be able to do. And uh, it very well may have saved Stanley 1.0's life. But uh, that's, you know what? It's too late to cry over spilt milk is what I feel like. What I do want to do is come over here to Wombat's base and see if um, he, like, somehow... Some way he had some kind of thralls or something. My throat feels dry. There we go. Now I feel better. If somehow, some way, there, he had like thralls that, that actually fought that purge off, or what happened? Uh oh. <laughs> I want to say that Wombat was, in fact, the victim of the purge. And now Wombat is floating in his tiny little goat helmet. Oh, man. So what killed them? Maybe they just got bored and left is what happened. Bro, they totally destroyed everything. I, the, the funny thing is, I warned him that this was going to happen. He was like, yeah, you know, I didn't build far. Yeah, bro, your stuff. First of all, I see up your skirt. You might want to do something about that. Second of all, you're floating in the air. Stiff as a feather, light as a board. Stiff as a feather, light as a... What? Oh, Ted gummit. Well, you're going to log into something interesting, Wombat. That's all I got to say. We might as well check your inventory. At least you're alive. Dude, he's half dead, though. Oh, man. Ain't that something. Dad coming. Okay, well, we know that he at least lived through it. He may consider moving back in with us, though. And then let's see. He doesn't seem to have any thralls on the Will of Pain. Okay, well, I wish I had been over here whenever the Purge attacked him. Maybe I could have helped a little bit. Plus, it would have been kind of cool to just see the Purge. I did notice that it seemed like this bar moved a little farther towards the edge here. And maybe that means that the next attack is going to be a little bit bigger. I'm not quite so sure. What I am sure of is I want to come over here and see if I can make some steel tools. Now, I don't even know how to make steel. So we'll probably have to go through that whole process together too. What was that? All right. So it's actually been a little while. And by a little while, I mean, I think it's been about a day and a half. I had to log off and I'm back. So that means... That this uh, thrall should be done. Let me check it real quick. And then I should be able to make my steel tools and all that kind of stuff. Thrall. Are you all cooked up? The cook is cooked. We cooked the cook. And now I think... Um, I still can't figure out if I need to... Let's just do this. Um, we'll put you here. Ba boom uh, whoop. Are you? Is the cook not cooked up? Okay. I think maybe you just got to equip it to something. So like... Let's try this. Maybe I should be able to drag him right there. There we go. Look at my boy. Look at my boy, the cook. That's probably the whole thing. You can't just um, can't just drop a cook or, or people that are specific to different benches. I don't know if that's thing or not. I'm totally just making that up. I will be taking some of these though, however. And so let's see what this even does. Does it tell you? I think essentially it's going to just make the process faster. I know that eventually different guys that you get, uh, say you've got a higher blacksmith a higher level blacksmith or a certain kind of blacksmith they can make different um blueprints they can make different craft different items that i couldn't make uh that are actually a whole lot better i think than things that i could make myself so there we go we got us a cook stanley 2.0 
is gonna live right here at base until we get who gets his face destroyed like Wombat's face did. Okay, still tools time. Let's go with feats. Uh, how do I even learn this again? Let's go here. Let's click on a steel tool, which should be, I don't know, somewhere in here. And let's learn this. Blah, blam. Okay, now we know steel tools. What else can I learn? Oh, I guess that's like the epitome of what I can learn here real quick. Let's figure out which weapon we want to make, though, now that I know steel tools. So here's the difference in what I'm using currently, which is this iron mace that does uh, 20 damage versus, let's see. Is this steel tools? Yeah, that's 25, 22, 24, 26. So I want to make this long sword. I also think that I can make maybe some different things down here. 23, 21, because I love these spears. Like I might end up making this spear and I might end up making this long sword. I'm saying this. I don't even know what it's going to cost for resources. Uh, and then I would love to make, I think I can make the ancient shield. Well, once I get to level 45, what I got to be here? 60 decum. There's all this stuff. I don't even know what an iron Corsicue <laughs> is. Javelins. Okay. How about we just stick with what I said? A long sword and the pike thing, wherever that was. Right? Long sword. And what else did I learn? This thing. Stygian spear. So I think we need the blacksmith table for that. Long sword. Steel. Okay, steel bars. Here's the question. Oh, okay. Here's the answer. Steel bar takes... What? No, that's just... Wait. What? I literally had to Google how to make steel bars. Like, this doesn't walk you through it at all. They could have done a much better job, I think. Even if you, like, hovered over steel bar, like, in the blacksmith table... It could tell you, like, you need this and this. So apparently what I need, oh, I'm frustrated right now, is I need uh, this stuff, steel fire, which is apparently a combination of tar and brimstone. I do think I have some brimstone, at least a little bit right here. I don't know if this is going to get me everything I need. I'm, we might have some more in chests. Let's go ahead and see if we can start making this stuff. Let's put the brimstone in here. Ooh, maybe I should have put that um, thrall on this. I can always move it. And then tar, which I think is at the tannery down here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the cook dude and move him in here as well. Let's put our friend Stanley 2.0 right here. Perfect. And then here's all the tar. Let's see if we can make some of this stuff. I can craft uh, six. Why not? Let me see. Oh, my God. Oh, maybe I need to turn it on. What is this? Okay. Turn it on. What is it running off of right now? Branches? I'll put wood in there. That might help. My throat feels dry. So I do think the fact that we have the Kushite cook in here is going to make this go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to get a bunch of these crafted up. And then I think I just throw them in the furnace with these iron bars that I hopefully have. Yeah, I've got some in there. I'll throw them in there with that. And uh, with any luck, I'll leave with steel bars. So it looks like all of our steel fire has crafted up, but it looks like I'm only going to be able to make six. If this is even the way to make it. Like I said, I googled it, so uh, hopefully it is. Uh, I need some wood in there. Do I literally have nothing? Let's just, I don't know, put that in there. Can I run off that? Okay, so here we go. I'll be able to make six steel bars. I don't think that's going to make me anything awesome. Also, do I have a torch? One second. I thought I had a torch. I guess I don't. Also, this purge meter is filling up really fast. <laughs> filling up really fast. So by the time that I get like all this done, it may be time for another purge, which I wouldn't be too upset about. Long sword. Oh, you need 20. What about this thing? You need 30. That's rather unfortunate. That means that I've got to find some more brimstone. So maybe what I'll do is go out. I know that uh, in the desert somewhere, there's these like rock monster things that you can kill that give you brimstone. I don't remember what the actual brimstone. Good God, it's dark. I don't remember what the actual brimstone stones look like. I'm sure if I walked across it, I could uh, actually find it. But we hadn't found we hadn't found too much. So I guess what I will do is let these craft up. Then I'll go out on an adventure, see if we can get some more brimstone because I would really like to have one of these weapons done and crafted. Uh, either by the end of the episode or when the next purge hits, which uh, doesn't seem like it's going to be that long at all. So actually, on my way out to the adventure, 
to try and find some brimstone. I came across this Zamorian Exile level two, and I feel like if there's gonna be a purge, like I could definitely use some help. We've got the um, rate that thralls, I guess you could say tame up, uh, turned up. So maybe I'll be able to have him, <laughs> have him actually, oh God, help me in time. <laughs> I feel like there's a possibility I may not even be able to get him out of here. I'll try and knock him out in the water. Can you follow me across this? I feel like it's just deep enough that dude's like stuck. <laughs> now he's doing the backstroke. Okay, come on. We'll fight over here. It's all good, man. It'd be really nice if I could knock this dude out. Boom, watch these moves. Yeah, not today, bro. And then I can either bring him with me on my adventure because I'm sure I could probably use a little, oh God, a little help. Or I can have him help me defend the base because if this thing gets wiped out, I don't think T-Bunny's gonna be a happy camper. Considering she did all the building. Boom! Got him. Got him. And we can play chess and checkers. And you can play with my Wii, which is a Nintendo console. So don't take that the wrong way. I'm not being pervy. All we have to do is get you tamed up. Uh, I don't know if tamed is even the right word. We'll get you, um, we'll get you, uh, we'll get you to obey better. I don't even know. Here, let's just put you on this thing. <laughs> which I'm, I love that it automatically does that. Okay, so we've got the level two. Zamorian exile right chair who is a fighter good god like watch the progress of this I say we have it turned up maybe I turned it the wrong way is this turned on is this thing on <laughs> look how slow this is oh my god that's painful I don't think there's any way that's gonna beat the purge eh, that purge hadn't moved too much all right well it looks like I'm on my lonesome then what is that thing oh it's a bunny rabbit I've got to head out to the desert that's where I'm headed. We're going to find some brimstone. We're going to get steel tools and it's going to be amazing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. This thing just, oh my God. Hold up. I'm like going to die. One second. Keep going. Keep going. What is wrong with you? Okay. I didn't think, I thought this thing was like a peaceful creature. <laughs> I just happened to like stroll past it. Next thing I know I'm flying through the air. Do I have a bow and arrow? I do. Do I have... Oh, God. Maybe he'll calm down. I was just about to mark my map because there's a ton of ironstone over here. I was just about to mark my map, and this is one of the things I really like about um, this map system is you can actually mark stuff. How do I do this? There we go. You can actually mark stuff on your map so that you can remember it. So if I do iron right here... It should put a little symbol, blah, blam. That way I know that I can come back here and get some iron. Okay, is that guy gonna leave me alone? Where'd he go? I feel like as soon as I hop down from here, like I'm gonna go flying through the air again. Okay, I'm trusting you, large rhinoceros creature. Where could it have gone? It's magical. It was a magical disappearing rhinoceros creature. I have no clue where that thing went. Okay, well, I'm not that worried about it. Also, I guess, there's like this green border around here, which I'm, I I would imagine means this is like the end of the map. I don't know what's with the weird color change, like the brightness thing. I imagine that means this is the edge of the map. So I'm just going to head this way and hope to find more open desert. All I got to do is find a little brimstone. Oh, God. I was trying to check this out. So this is not the creature I was talking about. However... It looks like I'm possibly going to be in a fight anyways. Please don't kick my butt. Please don't kick my butt. Oh, God. I can't kill this thing. You see what little damage I'm doing? Okay, we're in it. We're in it. I'm in it to win it. All I got to do is make sure that I got my... Oh, my God. Get me out of here, like, immediately. Remember when I said I was in it to win it? I was completely kidding. Here we go. Juking. Oh, no. A sandstorm is coming. This is the worst possible combination of things to happen. So I'm fairly certain this thing will drop brimstone. There was a little one of these over there too, which is what I was looking for. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad news bears right here. He won't stop. He won't get off me. He won't get off me, bro. Yeah, I think I lost him. I'm hiding under this uh, rock right here. It's actually giving me pretty decent shelter. During the sandstorm, this sandstorm will mess you up, bro. On top of not being able to see things, it actually kind of kills you, takes your health down. So I think I lost him on the other side of these rocks. I'll wait out this sandstorm. <sighs> Maybe I can find a way around him to the smaller one, and then I can actually get some brimstone from the smaller one. 
The sandstorm effect is pretty dadgum cool. Like, you can see it blowing past now. Reminds me of the mummy. <laughs> I feel a lot like Dwayne the Rock Johnson right now. Also, apparently there's a little camp of people over there that I'm not going to mess with. But it's really cool. Like, check out the way you can see it just blow through. That's really, really neat. I should be safe to come back out. Other than, uh, I don't know where. Yeah, there's Big Boy. Let's see if we can avoid Big Boy. Make a big wide circle. So where was he at? Uh, da, 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 da. Got to find the little one of him. I think over here. I think up here is where he was. Yeah, here we go. That looks like <laughs> that one looks a little more like something I can actually deal with than this other one that hopefully is not following me. I heard one make a weird noise. Let's see. Yeah, this one. This one right here. Oh, God. Dude, that scared the living crap out of me. That was super loud. Okay. Hopefully you don't bring any friends. Boom. The juke only works if you make the boom noise. That's a pro tip coming at you from somebody who couldn't figure out how to make still bars. Oh, it's all right. I had an iron pick that I came out here with, but I used it on iron stone and then it broke and I feel real stupid. So I'm probably not going to get as much brimstone as I could have, but that's all right. If, if I can just get me, just give me a little bit, a little bit of brimstone. I got approximately zero brimstone. That's rather unfortunate. Ah, uh, this is brimstone right here. Okay. I knew if I finally came across it, I'd remember. So this should actually give me legit brimstone. There we go. I need to find some more of these. I feel like the higher I go up, like in this little mountain, the more of this I'm going to actually find. But that's what brimstone looks like. I just got to keep my eye out for it. There's some more. But can I not aggro people while getting it? That is the question. Sneaky, sneaky style. Got like dudes on patrol. The wrong cab, mate. Apparently the answer is no. Who's, who aggroed me? Who are we talking to? Oh, no. Guys, I'm, no, no, no. I just want the brimstone. I don't feel, I feel like you don't understand. Okay, well, come this way so that we don't aggro your buddies. Oh, did you see that ricochet off the shield? That's pretty freaking cool. Come this way, man or woman. <laughs> Can't really tell. I mean, you sounded like a woman. All right, here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. Okay. See you later. Are we going to do this? We're going to do this. It's fine. If we're going to do this, we're going to do this right. Bam. Oh, you're like a legit cool archer. Oh, no. You don't look like no chump. You're level three. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I'm out of here. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's a killer. He's a killer. Oh, my God. I got to go. I got to get the crap out of here. See you later. Oh, God. Stuck on a tree. Okay, I just need to not let him hit me. That's the thing, right? Is he throwing combos? Is he about to hit again? Not today, bro. Boom. Oh, my God. I'm so much better than you. I'm so much better than you. Just go home already. And by home, I mean like heaven. Here we go. Ah! Excuse me, sir. Your legs are missing. Why am I constantly thirsty? More brimstone. This is what's up. Also a chest. Glass, you say. I constantly, I'm getting more. Okay, I'm not complaining. Glass. Iron bar. Glass fat. <laughs> that thing. We'll take that. I'm going to have all the brimstone in the world. Okay, so this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around here and look for these rocks. Once I get enough brimstone, which I have how much right now? I've got 150 already. I'll head back to the base and we'll finally make some steel freaking tools. Ah, oh, no. Guess what, guys? I think we finally broke our thrall. At least I think so. By now. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Arise, champion. Oh, perfect. Oh, God. Oh. Get you got to play something like that. Awesome. Zamorian Exile level two. Now, I'm about to. I've got all the steel bars that I need. I got. I think I need 50, and I put 51 in here. I realized that this spear that I was going to make only takes iron bars. So I put iron bars in here too. I should be able to make a couple of weapons real quick. But let me go ahead and give this dude like my old stuff. Why not? Right? Like here. Have at it, bro. You can. I, I don't know if they just randomly choose which one they want to. Like, actually, I'm going to make you like drop that. Can I do that? 
Let's make you drop that so that you- Oh no, I took everything! <laughs> you have that and that. Do with it what you will, sir. I think that should work just fine. Okay, let's make these tools. Finally, this has been a long time coming just to make these steel tools. I chose to- I think I'm gonna make the long sword. I'm gonna make the two-handed steel sword. And I'm gonna make this Stygian spear. But let's start here. Oh, God, I hope I have everything in here. Yeah, it's definitely gonna take a while. So I got that. Now let's go with long sword. I think this is a one-handed that I should be able to use with my shield. And then this right. Oh, yeah. Perfect. So here's what I did. I made all of those things that I said I was gonna make. Plus, I made an extra spear, which may have been a mistake. And so this dude may lose his rights to use the spear if he does what I did in the uh, live stream and just continuously trip Wombat and T-Bunny with it. All right. So I need to equip these things. Get rid of that. And let's put the long sword here. Or the two-handed sword there. Let's put the long sword there. And let's put the spear here. And let's see what kind of damage these things do. Are you just going to automatically follow me? I don't know if, like, I can give you commands. Follow. Fa sit. All right. We, you need a name. That's probably why you're not following. We're going to call you Mufasa. You look like Mufasa. Uh, how do I make you follow? Follow me. We're going to go kick some butt. People were telling me in the live stream that the two-handed swords are like freaking beastly. Look at that. Look how beastly. I missed completely. Anytime you want to maybe just sneak in here and get a few hits in, Mufasa would be just A-OK -okay with me. I feel like I'm definitely hurting him. That's how Stanley ended up dead. Okay, here we go. No, this way, man. You don't understand follow real well. We're coming this way. What is this? Oh, it's a button. Dad gum. It looked like a bottle or something. All right, hey, Mufasa, this one's yours, bro. This one's yours. Why am I kicking? Not sure. Let me go to the steel longsword. Get him, Mufasa. Use your weapons. Equip, equip, the, use the tools that I have given you, student. Come on, young grasshopper. Please. <laughs> what are you doing? There you go. You got the maze. There you go. Put a smack down on him. Put it down on him. Can I see his health? I really don't want to kill. I really don't want to kill you, Mufasa. But if you get in my way, there's the dude. I feel like this does more damage than the two-handed thing. And maybe it's just that it swings like faster. Bro, why would you put your weapon up and start punching the bird? I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Last thing to check out. We got this spear. Oh, here's another one. Here's another one of these bird things. I'm not waiting for you this time, Mufasa. Can I like? Oh god! Oh god, that's embarrassing. Get out! Okay, there's a good chance Mufasa's about to get decapitated. What I love about the spear, it, well, unless you're knocking them back into water, apparently, is that you can keep a pretty decent distance with it. There's like a knockback with it. Oh, that's amazing. And I didn't even kill Mufasa. Cheers for me, guys. Cheers to the chat for not killing Mufasa. But that's probably where we're going to kill... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's probably where we're going to kill this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I don't plan on putting this long between Conan Exiles uh, episodes, but it just kind of played out that way this time. So I do plan on doing them more frequently than every two weeks for sure. But let me know how you're enjoying the series. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. And until we meet again, I had to make sure he wasn't in front of me. Area. Check out them skills.